Hello my beautiful MK Love fam, welcome back or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Melanie Kate Love and I teach beautiful soulful women all around the globe how to nourish and heal their energetic blockages through the delicious power of self-love and angel guidance. So today we're going to be having a general reading which is all about, oh let me just check my notes I forgot, the full moon in Taurus on November 3rd or 4th depending on where you are in the world. Now this is a general reading so this is an indication that some things may not necessarily apply to you. The best thing to know if it actually applies to you is if something within you, which is your intuition, is like oh, Yes, that's what that means. That's your divine message for today. So whatever the first thought that pops into your head when I pick up a card, that is what I want you to focus on today. Are you ready? I'm so excited. All right, so let's begin with the Angel uh, Oracle deck from Doreen Virtue. Angels, can we have clarity please for my beautiful MK Love fam? For the full moon in Taurus, November 3rd or 4th. Just one card, please. Okay, this one. Ooh, go for it. Oh, you are on a mission, my love. You are like ready to rumble. Yes. Ah, okay, so it says, your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and answered. We've been working with you on this situation since it's genius and we continue to watch over you and everyone involved. Stay on your present path as it will take you very far indeed. What I love about this card is it's like everything that you have been working on day in, day out for however long, whatever the situation has arise in your subconscious, it's like we take these tiny little steps like every day doing our self-love practices and we're like, I'm starting to feel good, I'm starting to feel good. Then all of a sudden it's like there's so much momentum behind you because the universe can see that you've put yourself into such a beautiful vibration and everything just starts to line up for you and it's a time to go for it. This could be go for it in terms of a career, a relationship. Um, ooh, um, yeah, it's just a beautiful, it's honestly a truly beautiful card. All right, let's get some clarity. Angels, can we have another card please? To clarify, oh gosh, we have two here, go for it. Ooh, giving and receiving. Is this an Australian author because who designed this? Um, illustrations it has to be an Aussie because like that's a rainbow lorikeet right here which is a native Australian animal we've got a kangaroo and a baby joey in its pouch giving and receiving I like that so when I think of giving and receiving I think of karma and good vibrations it's like if you are a good person you are attracting good people into your life if you are um you know, applying for jobs and you have no blockages around it and you're like, this is exactly what I want to do. Or maybe you're starting your own business and, you know, maybe go the extra mile for a customer. You know, that good energy is going to come back to you. You may not necessarily see it straight away, but it's going to come back to you. And it's the universe's um, kind of like message. It's like, you know, it's beautiful. It's like the entire universe operates in cycles similar to your inhalations and exhalations. When you only exhale, for example, give, or only inhale, receive, you become out of rhythm with the universe. For optimal health, energy, and replenishment, balance each inhalation in your life with an exhalation. It's just like keeping it balanced. You know, if you are constantly giving, 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 it's like, you're not getting anything back to nourish yourself. Or um, this could be taken in terms of like you're giving your, your energy away or your power away, um, or people are taking it from you. Or oh, this card could be, mean so many things for so many of you, but it's just like, there has to be a balance, you know? And to find that balance is beautiful by being in alignment and staying positive and stepping into your power and being an authentic and not taking crap from anybody. Ooh, this is getting good. Okay, let's move on to the next deck. 
The next deck is Archangel Raphael Healing Deck from Doreen Virtue. What I love about this deck is it helps me identify where the blockages are. Okay, angels, can we have clarity on go for it and giving and receiving for my beautiful MK Love fam? I just love them so much. Oh gosh, this one already? I've already shuffled them. Ooh, we've got improving health. This card has come up a lot, and I mean a lot. It's truly beautiful. It's like, can you see all these flowers behind are just like blossoming, and he's putting his attention into like planting this new little bubba, which hasn't come into its bloom yet. Maybe it will come into its bloom when you go for it and you balance the giving and receiving. Ooh, this is good. So it says, Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for your comforting reassurance about the situation. Improving health. Improving health could be health for your body, your mind, and your soul. It's just whatever your intuition is telling you. Um, some of you could see that and you're like, okay, high vibrational plant foods. Others could see it as... Um, white that he's wearing is like purity, green meaning the heart chakra. It could be literal, literal like, um, uh, what, how do you call it? Like health is in nutrition. It could be like your mental health, your self-talk. It could be um, improving health. It's like every day you have been going for a walk at the beach and then those tiny little um, acts of self-love that you've been doing are compounding and it's like, it, it's all working out. You're doing the right things. Oh my God, guys, I am so proud of you. Well, I'm always proud of you, but I love when stuff like this comes up and it's like, yes. Okay, let's get another card. By the way, I live near the airport now. I don't know if you can hear this plane flying over, but I kind of like it. Okay. Uh, Sidetrack. Okay, angels, clarity please for my beautiful MK Love fam for the full moon in Taurus on November 3rd or 4th for go for it, giving and receiving, improving health for my MK Love fam. Just one card, please. You can fall out if you like. Okay, that one. Sure. I've never pulled this card before. Call upon Archangel Raphael for help. Okay, so this is a time where you're like hesitant because you haven't fully stepped in your power yet because you haven't made the move. You're like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So it's like, if you're worried, you need to ask for help. That's the same as like asking for help with your friends or families if things are getting too much for you and you're like, no, I'm actually not coping right now. Or maybe to your partner, it's like, I need you to love me. Oh, what was it? Um, Peter and I, I always say to Peter, I need you to love me more today if I'm not coping. But I read something on Instagram the other day and it's like, I need you to love me louder. Um, so you, maybe you need to vocalize that to your partner or to yourself and you'd be like, you know, it's okay to ask for help. You know, it is totally okay to ask for help because if you're helping other people, it needs to be okay for you to ask for help, which is the balancing of giving and receiving. Um, so let me read what this one says for you. It says, Dear Archangel Raphael, I ask for your healing help with, insert into the blank, thank you for your divine healing intervention. Yeah, it's like you have to just call upon your angels and they will totally help you out and they will always lead you to your highest good i think asking for help <laughs> oh then i heard that song help me if you can i'm feeling down i don't appreciate it that's a john farman song and then i had i heard that help i don't know the words of that song Okay, let's get more clarity. Wonder what this is going to end on. I always like, I love these readings because it's like each card tells a piece of the puzzle. Okay. All right, so this deck is the numerology deck from Michelle Buchanan, who 
likes my Instagram pictures, which is amazing. I always tag her. I was like, Michelle, I just featured your cards. Um, okay, cool. <laughs> so let's get clarity on go for it. Giving and receiving, improving health and call upon health, not help, sorry. And call upon Archangel Raphael for help. Angels, this is for my MK Love fan. This is just a general reading for the full moon in November, which is occurring in Taurus. Ah, okay, that's the one. Thanks very much. Ah, ha, 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 ha. My favorite card of the whole deck. I love this one. Intuition. It's like, listen to your highest good. Your intuition is like, dude, go for it. Be like, I don't know. I don't know. Yes. Listen to your highest good. You need to get yourself into the vibration of love, which basically means doing your self-love practices. Anything that nourishes your body, your mind, and your soul, or one or the other, is truly amazing. Let me give you an example. Oh, I don't have it right here. I wonder if I could show you behind here. No, I don't want to show you. <laughs> I just filmed another video on my couch before and I was drinking a cup of tea and like that is a self-love practice to me. That makes me feel really good. That helps me vibrate on the frequency of love and meditation is another one. Before every single private reading or general readings on my channel, I meditate and I, as I'm laying on the ground, I literally can feel my whole body go boom, 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 boom. It's just like all of my body just relaxes into the ground into like my natural alignment because sometimes when we're stressed our shoulders are up here and we're like tensing at our throat and you know you need to do your self-love practices and tap into that frequency of love if you're having trouble with your intuition that's exactly why i offer private spiritual readings and i help you identify exactly what's what is what the angels or your intuition is basically saying to you so if you need extra help click the link in the description and i would love to read from you but you know in order to listen to your intuition and i mean fully into listen you have to develop a sense of trust within yourself and trusting is such a beautiful process and i feel like it's a gift to be able to listen to your internal guidance because every single question that you could possibly answer uh, ask yourself is buried deep within your soul and you have to get into the right frequency to be able to hear it and sometimes you know we become too overwhelmed and we need extra help and that's why i'm here to help you but if you are actually more evolved and you can listen oh my gosh you're like light years ahead of the rest of the world and I honestly attribute my success and my self-love makeover to my intuition. It has led me to create these videos. I never thought I would ever be making like angel guidance videos, let alone charging people for it. You know, I'm a qualified primary school teacher and I've worked with children in foster care and, you know, I've studied small business management and it just blows my mind that this is what I'm doing but my intuition told me I trusted the process I've built a beautiful high vibrational community which involves you which I love you so flipping much and basically what I'm saying do what you need to do to get yourself into alignment I feel like food is is a fabulous way to get you in super quick and like for instance this morning for breakfast i eat a high vibrational um diet which is plants i eat plants in their most natural and unprocessed state except when i slip up and yeah before i just had two nice biscuits um i try not to drink as much um tea like caffeine and, and sugar but you know i do the very best i can i have my slip ups you know i am human and but i find that when i'm like the Okay, what I was trying to get to is that for breakfast, I had like um, a handful of spinach, two large bananas, blackberries, flax seeds, a little bit of water blended up into like a Nutribullet cup, blitz out for like two seconds, and I had this delicious smoothie, and I was just sipping on it in the morning, and I, I knew by, eat, by eating that, that that would fuel me for my day. Another self-love practice to help me listen to my intuition and be able to read the right cards for you I spent all morning going for a walk at, up and down the beach. If you watch my Insta stories, you would have seen it. So, okay, I'm blabbering too much. Let's go on. 
that's a good card, okay? It's just an indication that trust what your intuition is saying. Like, let's just, let's just do a breathing exercise. Breathe in. Breathe out through the mouth. Breathe in. Breathe out. Instantly, that tiny little two breaths that we did, I feel lighter, I feel much better. Imagine if you spent five minutes doing that. Or if you listen to my five minutes to bliss guided meditation. Or my 14 minutes morning mindset audio that's all in my self-love starter kit. Anyways, it's like you have to help yourself too, you know? Okay, let's get clarity. Angels on, go for it. Giving and receiving, improving health. Call upon Archangel Raphael and intuition. This is for my MK Love fam, please. Just one card. Just one. Oh, I don't know if that one was it. Okay, I'm trusting the process. Ooh, spirituality, seven, seven. Bam. So this could be taken a number of ways. Spirituality could be literally like trusting your angels. It could literally be like doing your spiritual practices such as meditation. Um, spiritual practices could look different to everyone. It could literally be prayer. Um, it could be going to church. That could be part of your spiritual practice that helps um, link you through to your higher self. Let me just see what else Michelle says about 70. Oh, that's the wrong book. <laughs> oh, I literally turned to that page. That is crazy. Okay, this card indicates a need to enhance your connection to the divine to improve your relationship with yourself as well as your quality of life. You're not human. You're not a human being having a spiritual experience. You're a spiritual being having a human experience and your relationship with source, God, divine, universe, whatever you wanna call it, is your path to inner peace. You will find your way to God and you will find your way back home. You're also being urged to communicate with your lost loved ones, spiritual guides and angels and ask for assistance, which is what we heard about this card here. Oh, I love that they just confirm each other. You need to ask for help. No request goes unanswered and no request is too big or too small. My relationship with the divine is my path to inner peace. Well, that is just beautiful, isn't it? That's so nice. So I think some of you will be like, just going back to that first card again, it's like, I don't know if that's what I should do. Don't think about what other people say that the path that you should be on. Trust your inner guidance. That is like your secret weapon, weapon, your magical dust. It is the shortcut or the fast track, a way to fast track your self-love makeover. Connecting to your intuition is something that I just find is the most beautiful thing in the whole wide world. I feel like this spirituality card could literally be like your self-love practices. How do you connect back to the divine? How do you do that? And you need to spend more time doing that because you're second guessing yourself. I wonder what this means for some of you. Oh my God, I cannot wait to read the comments. All right, let's move on to the final deck. This is the Angel Tarot from Doreen Virtue. Okay, angels, can we have clarity please for the full moon occurring on the 3rd or 4th of November in Taurus for my MK Love fam. Now, can we have clarity on, go for it. Ah! Good Lord. <laughs> Well, this one definitely wanted to jump out. I couldn't even go through all the cards, but I love this card. I just pulled this recently in a private reading for one of my clients. I love this card. It's like you're missing an opportunity. Look down. You've missed these three standing side by side, like boom, 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 boom. You've even missed this bigger one here, which is like right in front of your face. And you're just like, got your head down and you're like, you're in like, I feel like you're in like, I don't want to say this, but like the hustle mode or... Maybe you're just like, um, what's the word, stubborn? Or maybe you're too proud or maybe your ego is coming into it and you're just like, no. And then I heard that song, I did it my way. <laughs> it's like, no, 
It's not your way. Listen to the way that divine is trying to, to help you. I love this card. I love this card so much. It's like you're on a mission, but the way you're going is the wrong way. It says missing an opportunity, discontentment or boredom. Open your eyes to the possibilities. Okay, let's get clarity on this one. So it's four of water. Ooh, a water sign. Okay, this one says, it's time to reevaluate your situation because you're currently missing an opportunity. The solution you're seeking is right in front of your face. Fortunately, positive forces are working to assist you now. Open your eyes to the possibilities and accept the help that you are being offered. However, you may be distracted or feeling emotionally trapped. It, oh, blah, blah, blah. let me just re re rewind. However, you may be distracted or feeling emotionally trapped. Which I know a lot of you are trapped in your relationships at the moment. I read your comments and it breaks my heart. It's possible that by focusing on what you don't have, you're taking for granted the good things that you do. Additional meanings, discontentment, apathy, daydreaming, getting lost in your own little world, missing something or boredom. I'll just read that part again. It is possible that by focusing on what you don't have, you're taking the grand, for granted the things that you do. So it's like you're focusing on the lack of instead of what you have. So I'm just gonna interject and it's like you need to do a rampage of appreciation. So, so let's just say, okay, if it's in regards to a job, you would say, um, I love that I have consistent income or I would love, I, I love the feeling knowing that consistent income is on its way to me. I love that I am rewarded. Um, I love that I'm rewarded for my talents each week or each fortnight, each month, however you get paid. I love that um, I, I love that when I experience contrast, it's the university, universe, <laughs> university, the university of life, teaching me a, delici a delicious message that I need to pay attention. You know, it's just like you, you need to just focus on what you love. Let me give you an example of one that's easy for me because I don't really know what situation to talk about because this is a general reading. Um, for me, let's just say, I want to focus on this house. I just moved into a brand new house. Oh, so excited. Um, yeah, so let me just do one just in general. Like, let me just start with this backdrop. I went to the fabric store the other day. If you watch my Insta stories, you would have seen the whole spiel and I showed you behind the scenes. And it's like, I love my new backdrop. I love that it's got these like gold squares on them that are just like so geometrically pleasing to the eye. I love that I created this really beautiful like love heart out of electrical tape on my splashback in my kitchen. I love that everything in this house has totally come together super flipping fast. I love that this is a place, this place, this energy in my home is just pure unconditional love. I love that I get to share this with my fiance. I love that my ring arrived. Oh my God, like, dude, it's a rose quartz crystal. Oh, let me just zoom in. Like, oh, what the hell? No, I love that I wake up every single day feeling truly grateful for where I am. I love that I can walk to the beach. I love that there's so much great lighting in this house because it totally changes my whole YouTube vibe. I love that like I'm having a good hair day today, even though, oh, nope, we won't say that. I love that I'm having a good hair day today. I love this choker. I love these earrings. I love this new dress that I picked up from a thrift store the other day. And I love that I don't even have to wear a bra with it. That is so amazing. Can you see what I mean, my loves? Like when you're in that attitude of like, or the vibration of thinking about the things that you have and what you're grateful for, more abundance can come on its way. So to summarize the reading, let's go, go for it. <laughs> go for it, beautiful things are coming to you, my loves, you just need to trust. And you need to balance the giving and receiving. Make sure that you are grounding your energy, you're not giving too much away. Health is improving for your body, your mind, and your soul. If you need help, ask for it. You need to trust your intuition. You need to tap into the frequency of love by doing your self-love practices, whatever your spiritual practices look like for you. And do not have your head down being so focused that you are missing an opportunity. Wow, my loves, how amazing. That's so exciting. I love doing these readings for a number of reasons. 
but I love most importantly hearing from you. So in the comments below, please let me know what came up for you during this general reading. As always, I love hearing from you. I honestly do. And within the first hour after this video is live, so this is probably a half an hour video. So I'm live at 6 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So from 6.30 to 7.30 Australian Eastern Standard Time, I will be replying to comments for one whole hour. So make sure you don't miss out on that opportunity and you're getting in super quick when I upload videos. To everyone that misses that deadline, I maybe will respond. It just depends how I'm going and you know, what life is like, but I will always be responding for the first hour from 6.30 to 7.30. So my loves, I hope that you're having an amazing day wherever you are in the world. If you are getting stuck and you need extra clarity and guidance on hearing what your intuition is saying, book yourself a private spiritual reading as I would love to help you out. I've had some really fabulous testimonials that have come back. And one of them has been from uh, my beautiful Sandy, who is a best-selling author, a New York Times best-selling author. And she left me a fabulous review. Sandy, if you're watching, I know that you are. Thank you so much again for giving me this opportunity. And for all the beautiful souls that I have also read for, you know, every time I get an email back from a client and they say, Mel, this is what came up in the reading. I'm literally in tears. I'm just like blown away by what comes up for you. And it is honestly an absolute pleasure. I cannot put into words how grateful it makes me feel knowing that I've helped you get just a, find a little bit of relief in your life and give you the direction that you've been searching for for ages. And I love that you are in such a different vibration, a higher vibration. And I love how focused and I love how um, probably focus is probably the best word. And you're just like, you've just got your zest of life back again. I've read for a lot of people who are in depression and I love hearing how much I have helped them. And yeah, I could talk about this all day. It honestly, I never thought I'd ever be doing this. Honestly, I didn't. And it is one of the most rewarding jobs in the whole wide world. So please, if you need help listening to your intuition, you're not at that stage where you can hear, book a reading. I would love to hear from you. The link is in the description or follow me on melaniekatelove.com forward slash shop. And there's two different reading packages. I offer one which is available within, like delivered to you within seven Australian business days. All the other one is a priority reading, which is at a premium price, but it is actually delivered within 48 hours. So thank you so much for watching. If you are new here and you would love to find more of these videos, hit the subscribe button. And for all my MK Love fam, hit the bell because the bell will actually send you an email to let you know when I've uploaded a video. Otherwise, you may actually miss when my videos are uploaded, um, which would be terrible because that's actually happened to a lot of um, videos that like subscribers that I follow on YouTube. And I was like, oh my God, I missed out on this video. Um, yeah. Anyways, <sighs> comment below, let me know what's going on and I will see you in on Sunday where I have a success. Oh no, Sunday, I actually have a guided meditation for the crown chakra, which is exciting. And then on what date will that be? Let me just pull out my calendar. So that will be on the 29th of um, no, October. Then on the 1st of November, I'm releasing my success story update, which I'll be showing you my new house and my engagement ring, which I've already showed you. Oh, then we've got so much going on. Then we've got another Q&A tea time episode. But if you, that doesn't really float your boat and you just want to come back for the fortnightly thing, no problem. Anyways, I gotta go. See ya, I love you, bye.